This is a walkthrough video of 2732 Parma. We are just uh, east of Swift, very close to Riverview High School, which is basically at the end of the street there. This property, um, just looking at it, I can tell that's going to need a roof. That Those three tab shingles have seen better days, and since they don't haven't made those in about 17 years, or at least sell them, it's going to need a roof. Kind of cool uh, exposed beams in this uh, main main room here. It's got a fireplace. Uh, this is a laminate flooring that converts to um, converts to tile here. Little tight in the uh, kitchen here. I gotta say that fridge really is poorly placed. Um, God, it's like skinny. Oh, I'm to squeeze through. Uh, but nice granite undermount sink. Um, Stainless appliance, even if they do protrude into the living space. You've got a little eat-in area. Got a new window there. Big backyard. I'm stepping down into, I guess, what was the garage. Again, cool cathedral ceiling, barn door. Look at that. How cool is that? Uh, not sure where this goes. This is the garage. Huh. Okay, so that was not the garage. Maybe there were two, two garages? I don't know. Big garage, though. It's a big one-car garage. Um... And not even a washer and dryer out here, so interesting. I do like that barn door, that's pretty clever. So that steps up. I hate those step up, step down. Ah, somebody did remodel the, the uh, shower, very cool. Use a door or a shower curtain, otherwise we're gonna get all wet. But uh, I like that, that's nice. Big, this is the closet for this space, good size. Okay, so tight kitchen, kind of funky, exposed beam kind of thing, fireplace like that. Guest bathroom, also redone. Nice edging with the chaluder, I always like that. Um, nice little, little shelves, kind of cool. New window, new vanity. New tile. Guest bedroom number one. These are really old crank out windows, but they're not the Jaw Luis windows. They open out like that. It's kind of cool. Cedar line closet. I like that. Actually, a nice door there. Look at this. Guest room two with this built in, uh, built in area. Got a big TV there. I like that closet. It's kind of cool. This is kind of a cool house. I like the. Um, the old paneling here, this it's it's I like I like that. Um I don't like the kitchen so tight. <coughs> Excuse me, a little cough. Okay, this is the screen lanai. Two doors. It's kinda weird. It's very odd. I might have that. And what the heck is that out there? I gotta go check it out. Look at this yard. It's enormous. You play football out here. Look at that. Wow, this is a great yard. You put a giant Olympic-sized pool out here. And this structure, I don't even know what it is. Big storage workshop. In good shape. It's kind of cool. Not air conditioned, but uh, storage. Yeah, for a yard like this, you're going to need significant storage. Hi, Bella. What do you think of this place? You like this yard? Like, oh, yeah. It does need a roof, though. Roof on this would be about eight, nine thousand dollars $9,000. Little wash sink out here? Huh. Nice little shed, storage room. There goes more. It's like a three bedroom storage room. Interesting. I don't know what they were thinking. Huh. They building an in law suite or something out here? Don't know. So, um, hmm. Place has got some potential. I, I'm really surprised and delighted by this large backyard. So, we must be on well here. Um, because that's a whole house um, water softening system with pressure tanks and everything. 
Huh. A, lot of, a lot of extra piping here. More storage side of the house. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, this is the laundry room. I see. Washer and dryer out here. That's why it wasn't in the garage. I can see, yeah, the vent there for the for the dryer, but I, I knew that there wasn't a dryer in there. It must have been at one time then they moved it outside. Okay. <clears throat> I've seen enough. It's uh needs a roof. But all in all, place got potential. I mean it, it it's livable as is. A tight kitchen. You know, I, I kind of wish that they had taken out this wall and really opened it up when they uh, when they did this. Hmm. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941-366-0000 or visit us on the website at www.yorkshireinternational.com. And as always, thanks for watching.